Hi, I'm Steve Spindler, and I'm going to create this map as a way of showing you how to use overpass data. And this is just one method of using OpenStreetMap data. So I'll just start by deleting everything here. So we have a basically a blank document with a background. Now I want to import data from overpass. And I'll start with getting water. And let's go to wizard. I'll just type in water. So this will select the water for this area shown. Then I'll export as a GeoJSON. Back over to Illustrator and import our water. So it's GeoJSON water. And it comes in like this. This is not projected. It's in WGS84. And I could either go with uh, pseudo Mercator, which is also WGS84, but um, it's like a web map. Or I could go with State Plane NAT83. And what I like about State Plane NAT83 is that it'll give me an accurate, accurate scale without having to go back and forth. So I'm going to reproject this. But first, I want to crop it a little bit. I have more than I need. All right. And I like to simplify, too. So I go to Path, Simplify. When I import something, you have to make sure everything's selected. But object, Path, Simplify. I should create a shortcut for that. And Auto Simplify. OK. Then. I'm going to change this. I'm going to go to my map views, just double click on that. And right now it's WGS 84, but we want, we're going to go with New York State Plain West. And I like to use meters. I don't think it matters, but okay. Now I have New York, NAT 83, New York State Plain West. And I'll change the scale of this to 25,000. So we'll bring this up. I think sometimes I need to save it first and then come back to it. I'm going to change this to state plane. And we'll drag this down. We'll go about right, right there. And I'm going to go up a little bit. This layer is that my water layer, I can add a graphic style to that. But the problem with that is these are separate polygons. See that and that, and that creates this dark area between these two. So I'm just going to use my, I'm going to select all, just use my Pathfinder tool and union. So now that got rid of that. There's a little piece there. I'm just going to minus that there. Then there's also the Map Publisher Vector Crop Tool, which I like to use a lot. So we'll click like that and just crop that, skip crop layers. There we go. And this base, even though it's just a base, I want to make this base a Map Publisher aware base. So I'm going to drag it into there and we'll go with area. Okay. Then we want the waterfalls. And done. So I'm going to go wizard name equals water, Niagara Falls. 
This will get the waterfall here and here. It'll also get the boundaries for Niagara Falls in both Canada and the US. And I'll export this, download falls. The falls come in and I'll just drag them down to our map. We have the boundaries here and I don't need both of these, so I'll just delete one and I'll apply graphic style to that border US Canada. And then these, we'll call these waterfalls. And we don't need this one. So we'll have A waterfalls, select all, and we'll apply a graphic style to that. These are just like blue, Gaussian blur. I might add some white. So we'll go new layer, a white water. And I'll just draw, I'm not using my tablet at the moment, but So we have those and I'll make those white. Get rid of that and we'll add a Gaussian blur for that too. Blur, Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to drag that below the waterfalls and give it like an opacity of 80 or something like that. So now you can see, kind of attracts your eye to that. Um, next, I want some roads and come back over here. I saved my queries to the, the web, osm.org, and it just makes it easy. So I'm going to go with selected roads with residential. Wizard. No, cancel. So this is the highway equals primary or all of these. I actually want a couple more. So I'm just going to put this into my wizard. Or highway equals footway. Or highway equals service. Okay, build and run. Then I can export that, download. I'll just call it highway. Then we can import that to GeoJSON browse. Go to my map views and just drag this down. I don't really need that second um, polygon layer. I'm not sure what that is. Let's take a look at the attributes. Oh, those are footways, observation deck, those could be kind of useful. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to keep those. Let's come over to our highway, though. And I'll just put everything else back on. So we have all these lines. And I can go to thematic tools, uh, which is map themes. And I click a specify my layers highway. Then I have cycleway. You can see cycleway, highway equals cycleway, motorway, highway equals motorway, or highway equals trunk, trunk link, primary or secondary, tertiary. I put tertiary and neighborhoods in the same residential as neighborhood. Path or pedestrian and footway and don't show. So the don't shows are actually going to show, but I can move those later. But they'll be, let's just apply this. And these here, getting back to the, that highway one, I'm just going to call these buildings. Graphic styles. Okay, and for here, because this is a divided highway and it's bigger, I just stylize it as a, a single color. And I can select all, or select same appearance, and do a new layer. Bring that up top and paste where I can hold down an option and just drag down. That's usually what I do. And then I can drag this up above. And everything else is locked, so I can change the color to white and change the stroke to, say, 1.1. While I'm at it, I'm going to take this and just do object path simplify for everything. So it went from 17,000 down to about 7,800. OK. And I'm missing right here. Something didn't come through, so I'm going to click on Highway. So I can go back and just download the trunk ramp or something like that. I like the fact that you can get specifically what you need. So we're going to go with Wizard Highway equals, I would say, motorway, way, link, or highway equals trunk link. OK, we got them. Export. There we go. But then I can drag them into the layer. Layer links down the highway. I want to wrap up this video and just give you the website. It's overpass-turbo.eu. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at steve at bikemap.com.